Do you have a wild side? <laughs> of course I have a wild yeah. side. I like sci-fi books. Yeah. No. All right, I've been hoping for a good dating reality show for a long time. I've been getting a little bored lately. Let's see how this is. I've been hearing good things. I do believe that we're at a stage in our relationship and I'm at a stage in my life where I can answer that question for us. But you're not ready to answer the question because, or else you would have already answered it. Okay, that's fair. But, okay. I want what I want and that's a ring. At the end of this, I will have an answer for you one way or another. What's going on? So, so far, these two are going on a reality show because this guy doesn't want to propose to her. That's what she wants. And she said, you know what? Because you're not, you're not sure. I want to go on this reality show with you to see. I don't really believe in there only being one person for everybody. Do I think that there's a possibility that I could be happy with somebody else? Yes. I think it's natural to wonder what it would be like to be in a different relationship. That's why I'm giving my girlfriend an ultimatum. I'm learning so much, but so little at the same time. The ultimatum is... It's an ultimatum. It's either, you know, she marries me or... Moving on. And... I am worth her whole heart. And if she can't see that, I need to find somebody else who can. Why doesn't he just break up with her and find somebody that wants to get married? So I'm dating this woman. She's perfect for me. I want to marry her. It's amazing. She doesn't feel the same way. And so I'm going to put her on a reality show with me. And that's going to solve the problem. Every thought I think I want to tell it to you. Every funny joke I want to try it on you. Every day I live, I want to live with you. Is it weird to say that he's hotter than she is? I mean, not that looks or everything, but I don't think you're gonna end up with a hotter guy than this. <laughs> Look at that man. Look at that fucking mane, dude. The way he's staring into the camera. I mean, I feel like he's looking at me. I don't know. I would be crushed if she walked out of here with another guy. Okay, so what this show is, is going, all right, well, I love my partner. My partner doesn't love, eh. But then I asked them to go on a reality show where they will bang other people to see if they really do love me. And it was just all in their head before. Is that what this reality show is? <laughs> is that what I'm about to watch right now? There's gotta be somebody out there looking for what I'm looking for. And that's love. You're the one I wanna see. Got it, but wait. So at the same time, this guy is going to be meeting other women at the same time, seeing if they actually do love him. Okay, the reality show's making a little bit of sense to me, but I'm getting already so much toxicity potential in this mm, show. I'm Nick Lachey. I am Vanessa Lachey. In your relationships, one partner is ready to get married. Yo, Nick Lachey's looking, he's looking good, man. How old is he, like 50 now? Hey Siri, how old's Nick Lachey? Nick Lachey is 48 years old. He's 48, he's almost 50. Boy's looking good. What was he in, One Direction, 99 Degrees? And why is he hosting a dating show? I want a ring on this finger. You think you're ready for this step because you're I the do. one that issued the ultimate, right? I do, right? Yeah. yeah, I do. And I think he is too, he just doesn't know. <laughs> oh, I get it. So it's like the partners are delusional. I think he wants to marry me. He just doesn't know. So I'm going to take him on this reality show to make him know. <laughs> Everybody's like laughing uncomfortably here. Like, look at Nick's laugh right there. He's like, oh, so funny. He's like, oh, that's fucking weird. Watch Nick Lachey laugh right here. He doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Lachey's like, oh, he knows, dude. You know why I'm on this show? Because he knows. <laughs> you know why this show is here? Not because everything's gonna work out, dude. It's gonna be dirty in these episodes, bro. I think it'd be best to just be able to get rid of some debt that I have in my past. Um, in order to have a great life for her. Um, I'm just thinking of plowing the entire cast so I could have a great life for her. That's ultimately my reason, but she doesn't. Okay. Why is she like, oh my God, come on, brah. Take a good look around at each other. Each of you are compatible with multiple different partners and 
You guys are all thinking about marriage in a really, really intensive way. You know what's crazy is like when I watch these reality shows usually, I'm not thinking that like, oh, Nick Lachey and this other person are like reciting lines to these people. This is not shit they just making up and they're just saying on the spot. This is all lines. I'm filming a reality show right now and I have like lines to say to the contestants and all this stuff. And it's not fun. It's not, it's not easy. The rest of it is really fun, but the reading the lines, that's hard stuff for me. Like, they're saying everything. I was Nick Lachey memorizing all these lines. That That's all I'm wondering. Maybe I should DM Nick and ask. <laughs> Actually, let me do that right now. Yo, by the way, look, look, I literally just got a text that says, it says that they're sending me a script for tonight. <laughs> I don't want a script. Let me just say what I feel. That's all I'm, that's what I'm good at, <laughs> I think. All right, time to DM Nick Lachey. Oh, he has under a million followers, so he'll definitely be able to respond to me. Hey, Nick, I'm a dating coach who recently started filming for a dating reality show. I had no idea how hard it would be to memorize all the lines. Do you have some sort of trick to remember? You'd be the biggest help of my life and I wouldn't be embarrassing myself in front of the entire cast and crew anymore. This is serious. P.S. I'm floored by your ability to memorize all those lines on Ultimatum as well as your skincare routine. I'm guessing Curology? Keep it it up my dude and then a little emoji of like a, a praying emoji it's a high five emoji but i like praying emoji there we go so let's see if nick lachey gets back to me i mean you're gonna just have to watch the next video so subscribe with all notifications and we'll see if nick lachey actually gets back to me let's continue the show it is an ultimatum i mean it's an engagement or a break. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not the type of person that talks about women's looks all the time, but do I even have to say it? She's not 25. Break up. Come on, how much cuter can a person get when they smile like they're three years old? Nikki. Oh, so they we stopped spending time six together. Six other couples here that we're getting to know. And you may come out actually interested in that person. Hello, hello. Oh, hi. Zay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you again. Oh my God, look at that face. She is so excited to flirt with somebody new. This show is weird, man. I was in a two and a half year relationship and today I'm dating new people. So it's, it's pretty crazy. I haven't. <laughs> He's like, how do I word this so I'm not saying it's for amazing. It's uh, it's uh, pretty crazy. <laughs> felt like this in a, in a while, getting to know different women. <laughs> oh, he's loving it. Doing well, how are you doing? See where we're matching today. I know. I'm not ready to get married. I'm gonna enjoy dating other people. I have one life. And I'm with somebody who is going to fully fulfill me and make me happy forever, that there's no one out there better for me. It's always a question. She just doesn't want him. That's it. She doesn't want him. Sex life is very important for me. What is a good sex drive to you? Fucking like, what, two or three times a day? I don't think that that is what I came here to explore. You have a wild side? <laughs> of course I have a wild yeah. side. I like sci-fi books. Yeah. No. Nope. Yeah, I could tell that that guy's a little nerdy. As soon as Randall walked in, I felt it. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> hey. Take a seat, take I'm a seat. I'm taking off my shirt. Randall is very sexy. Fuck. <laughs> this girl, she just wants this juicy face. So to be honest with you, like uh -huh. initially when we came in, you were like the first person that I felt like, that's someone that I think that I could be comfortable. Your energy is just yeah. like, I feel like it could match. I love how women talk about men when they're attracted to them. They don't want to go, he's so fucking hot. They go, I felt comfortable and your energy made me feel like we could match. Um, and also it's honestly just everything except the way that you look is why I'm attracted to you. Like how's everything with you? Yeah. And, and Colby. Um, honestly, He's an, he's an awesome guy. Yeah. He annoys me. <laughs> like, gotcha. it's, I get annoyed. You don't have to say something every five seconds. Shut up and let me think. Yeah. Why are you with this man? Just f 
can break up with him. There's no, oh, do I want him? You're like, I honestly, I hate him. I do. I just feel uncomfortable breaking up with him because I don't want to see his pretty face cry. He's just always putting on a show. It's funny because it's like the things you love about something can also be the things yes. you end up hating. Like you, yes. you're so bothered by. Her, it's like, Shanique's friends call her like the next Michelle Obama. She's always like talking, like yeah. always has an opinion. You know, Shanique is a very emotional person. Yo, it's just not good to talk shit about the people that you're in a relationship. Yo, like what, like what if they do end up staying together? Then they have to watch this show and then seeing them talking shit about each other. Kobe's not very realistic. He's gotcha. very, he's like, everything is always perfect and happy mm. and I need him to like take things more seriously when we're considering right. such a serious commitment. That's such bullshit. He's the one that wants to get, all right, forget it. Definitely scared to admit that he's excited for this because he wants to be the, I'm 100% here for my woman kind of guy. But there is no way that Colby is not excited about getting to experience and hang out with another woman. I mean, she might just be projecting, but I guess we're gonna find out. Marriage for me is a financial decision and an emotional decision. If Hunter wasn't making enough money that was reasonable, I would walk away. <laughs> I think it's the first time I've said that out loud. I don't think Hunter's ever heard me say that. People are like, oh, you don't necessarily have to have that much money. I'm like, no, you do. I don't ever want to have a situation where I have to pick, oh, I'm paying for this or this. I don't think I'm the man that can fulfill all of her needs she's looking for. The thing about her is like, we could say, oh, she's a bitch and all that stuff, but it's literally just a personality type. She's the type of personality where her emotions just don't come at the top. What comes at the top is making sure that her life works out the way that she wants it to. And if it does, that's great. And then the emotional stuff comes next. That's okay. Some people are different than me and maybe you, and maybe you're watching this and maybe you feel closer to how she is. I don't want anybody to judge her for saying stuff like that. I want to be able to kind of nurture her, you know, yeah. like give a shoulder to cry on. She knows it's there. She just chooses not to use it, oh. you know? What I'm curious about is like, how old are these people really? Because they're not far from my age, right? But their skin is freaking, their skin's flawless. Every morning I wake up, I look in the mirror and like I get, I'm getting older and I'm like, what is happening to my skin, to my body? <laughs> and that's why I got Curology because they literally help old people like me with my skin, with my wrinkles. And it's actually worked. Now, every night before, bed all i do is i just take my curology i put it on my face that's it i wash my face i go to bed and over the past couple months it's been weird like i am getting litter like look at me am i hot to you you want to know why i'm hot to you because curology made me hot to you i mean you've seen all my other videos if you have i'm like a fucking troll i'm disgusting but yeah it's not just about being attractive but i want healthy skin like as i'm getting older i don't want to be breaking out i don't want to be having like weird marks like i I want to be looking at least my age. So when you sign up with the link in the description, you get your first month free, only $5 for shipping and handling. And it's actually really cool. You take this like consultation quiz where they ask you questions about who you are, what your skin is like, and then they create a package specifically for you. And then they send it off to you. So they also gave me their cleanser and moisturizer. And as more products come out, I get those as they launch too. And again, I'm the type of person where when I go to bed, like even brushing my teeth is a lot. So, you know, I was scared at first about like, ooh, a skincare routine for me, but it's so simple. Like literally I just put it on, wash my face, go to bed, boom. I brush my teeth too at night. Don't, I don't want you thinking I don't brush my teeth at night. So if you already have a skincare routine and it's it's not like the best. Just click the link in the description, take the survey. Like they literally give you a quiz where you answer questions and then a provider creates a package specifically for your needs. And if you're the type of person like me that never even thought about a skincare routine, seriously try this because you're not getting any younger. Every day you get a little older, your skin gets a little dirtier. Your skin gets a little more, I don't know, stretch, <laughs> stretchy or whatever. Try Curology, get it for free in the link in the description and let's get back to the video. That is just a breath of fresh air to talk to a guy who wants exactly what I want. And Colby and I are on the same page. So Colby, 
Cheers to you. I think she's attracted to him too, and I think he might be attracted to her as well, but I don't think they have any plans yet. I think they're just connecting on similar situations that they have in their relationships. But I am interested to see how these two go forward. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm feeling a spark. A I'm cheers. so glad. This is my favorite. I'm... Give me a hug. <laughs> I was about to say, forget the handshake. April, it's cool. She's got the looks. She has that little kind of quirky vibe, but the spark itself that I'm looking for hasn't happened yet, and I'm waiting for that spark to come. That was the reaction I got with Madeline, and I haven't felt that yet. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I don't think he feels any spark with anybody yet except for his girlfriend, and he's just kind of feeling the waters, feeling the water, feeling the whatever. How are you? Doing good. Does good. this work? Just jump in like that? Keep it dry. <laughs> I should have took this off before I sit down. Colby was the first person I think that I was initially drawn to. I think that he's very attractive. Well, he is very attractive, but he also has a really good personality, good social skills. Notice how he keeps very strong eye contact. And I know people talk about this all the time, but this is the time that we need to talk about eye contact. Eye contact is so much more important than you think. It's not just like, oh, good eye contact is, it's polite. No, oh, good eye contact, it's like builds a track. No, like it could literally change an entire situation between you and another person. And I want you to watch, I forget what his name is, but I want you to watch this guy as he has interactions with everybody and watch how locked in to the person's face he is at all times when he's speaking, when he's listening. This changes everything. So yeah, obviously he's good looking, but it goes beyond that because if he was a douchebag, if he was blah, 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 women wouldn't care as much, but he's a complete sweetheart and he's completely engaged in the moment and on to the person that he's interacting with. A confident, happy person, an attractive person is one that values his life, which are his surroundings. And if there's a person in front of him, those are part of his surroundings and part of his life, which means that he respects the person in front of him as he respects his life because he loves life and he shows that love to the person in front of him and he treats every single person like they are the most important person to him in that very moment because they are. And I could tell that's how he has been raised. That's how he lives his life. That's how he interacts with all people. And when somebody stumbles upon somebody like him that is so positive and gives such love to whoever is around him, they kind of get sucked into that vibe. When you are giving full, unwavering eye contact to the person in front of you, it shows that one, you are a discerning person, which means that you're watching for every little movement they make, every little expression on their face, every little sound they make, and how that matches their body language and their facial expressions. And at the same time, it shows that you are a person that actually cares about them truly beyond the facade, beyond all of the whatever, clout or whatever they might have. You're looking into their soul. That's why a lot of people say when somebody's looking at you, it's like, it feels like you're looking into my soul. That's good eye contact. Let's move on. Here, I feel like for the most part is like very open to having children. I'm, I'm the black sheep. <laughs> but as a man, yeah. I understand. I'm not the one pushing something out of me. You know, like, know. I've got to be. I feel like if the roles were reversed, I'd have such an easier time. <laughs> Would you? So is I'm that. Not. Look so at that eye so contact. Just raising the kid. It's just outstanding. Um, okay, I will say. Tell it's me. Like... I got to know what. See how it's unwavering. He's not like, tell me. I got. He's always on the person's face. You know, you have to like figure out a parenting style that's going to work for you. And for sure. mom and dad have to be on the same level of communication and. You have to be able to see it through someone else's eyes, especially your partner's eyes, who yeah. you're working with, your teammate, you know? That's like the most important thing you possibly do. Colby is definitely somebody that I find attractive. He has a really sensitive, emotional side to him, and it feels like he's listening and he's hearing what I have to say and he wants to see my side of the story. Now, do you see how she worded that? He wants to hear my side of the story. He's listening and it feels really nice. This is what all people like. This is what all people want. And when they get somebody like that, that's confident, loves life. Now here's the difference, because I know a lot of people are gonna watch this and go, oh yeah, well I do that. I do that and nobody likes me. There's the difference of when you are doing it to get that person 
to like you back. When you're doing it to get that validation, to gain attraction from them purposely, yeah, it's not like you're, oh my God, he's he's so skilled at hiding that. People notice the difference easily, so quickly. Like you can't be a good enough actor to fake that shit. People always know your intentions on the inside. Unless you're a psychopath, I guess. She wants to have kids. I can tell she wants to have kids. But Nate works too much. She mentioned that a couple times and she's scared that she's gonna have to be the only one raising the kid. I feel like I'm a guy who can comfort those feelings she's having and hold her hand as she goes through them. Okay, I think the producers and the editors made this to seem like he's actually interested in her. I don't think he's interested in her at all. I think that's just reality show magic. I know, and I'm like, I don't wanna be a 50 or 60, look back on my life and say, hey, I should have done this. Yeah. I could have experienced this, I didn't. Right. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to be rich. I'm not one that person that needs to be rich. Yeah. As long as I'm stable right. and I can enjoy life. I so, feel the same way, I'm kind of a minimalist, uh, so yeah. yeah. I, I, that's funny, you're the first one that said it. I am very much a minimalist. Really? Like, um, all, I could have my phone, my clothes, and I'd be happy. Yeah, I'm actually seeing them start to connect here. And I'm not talking about attraction, but they're definitely connecting as friends right now. It's very weird um, to be dating other women. My last date was four or five years ago, and I definitely love April. And it's, it's very scary to have this type of connection so quick, but Ray literally hits every single thing I need in a girl, plus more. I'm not seeing the attraction between these two. I'm seeing a connection. I'm seeing a lot in common. I don't see any sexual attraction. What guy would you be most nervous about your ex living with Ooh, out of good everybody question. here? This guy right here. Wow. Just really? really? Just look. Oh, yeah, we got same, the same style. Oh, we got the same everything. He's gonna, <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I gotta say the same. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is this is a good game. What guy has your, most of y'all's attention right now? Oh God. I would say I would say Colby. All right. <laughs> Every girl's like, uh, watch it. But I do have my eye on Colby. And they know, all have the girls their eye here on Colby. like him. I'm definitely feeling like the pressure is on. I have not been single. Probably She's since like I was on her way 18, out anyway. 17, 18 years old. I think it's toxic, but I'm excited and it's flattering. It, it feels good. My eyes on Randall. Is it toxic? I don't know. I mean, the concept of the show is toxic. I mean, she's just playing along. But I think that icebreaker definitely helped me understand a little bit more. Yeah. Especially hmm. knowing who thought what about who they were most interested in yeah. and who they weren't. Mm. What'd you think about my answer? It surprised me. Really? Yeah, it surprised me. I can't see a future. I didn't get that, that internal feeling. Thought our date went well. Clearly, it was all lip service. Bullshit. And you just nexted me as if that was even an option. What is she saying? You just nexted me as if that was even an option. That is an option. That's the whole game show. The game is to find somebody else or stay with your partner. And he decided he doesn't like you. You suck. You're lying about your age. You shouldn't be on this show. Yeah, I mean, I'm feeling good. How are you feeling? Feeling good. I was like, holy shit, we have a lot in common. Like everything, like Literally, to the T. Everything that you were saying, I was like, oh, they found my twin. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is the girl version of me. Yeah. And see, that's all good stuff, but that doesn't mean attraction. That doesn't mean a good relationship. I mean, that means friends. I, I can't say that enough, but like everything we talked about, I was like, I was like yep, okay. same, yep. same, same. Checking my boxes, same. yeah. <laughs> I hear Jake laughing and I just was like, okay. What the hell could possibly be so funny? <laughs> I love how she's getting jealous when she's the one that wanted this. It's great. She was like, oh, I want to have a good time, but he doesn't want to meet anyone. So I'm good on that. <laughs> nope. Don't bring your good looking boy toy onto this show if you don't want anything to happen. Ray, she's someone that checks off every single box. We connect on every single level. It's a little scary how comfortable we are with each other. I mean, he said that twice, but he hasn't yet said, I like her, I want her, I'm attracted to her. He's just repeating the same thing over again. I don't think he's attracted. I'm myself am not ready to marry April right now, but maybe I can change for the right person. What's the next one? Are you sure? Nothing. I'm just gonna 
light on over here. But yeah, it's uh, it's cool. How's everybody? Can we squeeze in with y'all? Whoa, that was the first episode. Pretty good, pretty good. Not as good as I heard it would be though. I was hoping for a lot more spiciness. I am looking forward to a part two, so if this video gets 10,000 likes or 100,000 views, whatever comes first, I will make a part two. Then you'll see if Nick Lachey actually DM'd me back. Remember to subscribe, like, share with your friends so we can get the views up. So maybe the spiciness happens in the further episodes. I'm willing to go through this whole season if you guys want me to. Let's just get this to 100,000 views or 10,000 likes, whatever comes first. Thank you to Curology for sponsoring this video. If you want Curology, like I've been using. You want this beautiful 37 year old man's skin on your skin. Well then click the link in the description and get some Curology. See you next video.